Hello everyone, this is Aaron of the Rave Corner. Today I'm going to do a figure review. This figure comes from Funko's Mystery Mini line, specifically the Horror Classics Series 3. And I do apologize in advance as I have already taken the liberty of opening the box and the packaging and seeing what's inside. So without further ado, here is what we're gonna review today. It is none other than the shark from Jaws! Yeah, and it's really really cool. My favorite detail is the scarring that you see around the jawline, the lip area. Here we see scars right there. There's more scarring right here. And there are there's also scars around the nose, the tip of the nose, the nostril. And I especially like the scar on his right eye. And as you can see, the shark has been sculpted with that very mean and scary looking eyes that has also been painted in a dark grayish blackish paint and he also comes with the oxygen tank that is stained in black not quite sure what that represents at first i thought it was blood but it's actually something different and there's also details that you would commonly expect from a shark of course we see the fins here's the bat top fin right there we got gills the tail and pretty much everything else. This is definitely the heaviest and bulkiest figure within the Horror Series 3 line. And if you're wondering what else is available in this third series, here it is. This is actually a box from the Hot Topic exclusive. So here's the exclusives available in that store. Of course, I got the Shark from Jaws. And here are the other characters inside the box as well. For size comparison, I do have large figures from the Mystery Mini line. Here is Godzilla. He is not from the horror series, but he is from the sci-fi series 2 line. Let me get him in frame. And this is Alien Queen, also from the sci-fi series 2 line. And as you can see, although the shark is not taller than the rest, he still looks really good standing next to them. And if you're wondering how he compares next to human-sized characters, I do have Captain Malcolm Reynolds. He's from the Sci-Fi Series 1 line. And I do have the Rocketeer, who's also from the Series 1 line. So overall, he is cool. I do recommend that you try to pick him up. And if you go down to the store, you happen to pick up a box and the figure inside feels very heavy and it occupies a lot of room, chances are that you will get the shark from Jaws. And I hope this tip works out for you and I do hope that it pays off. So thank you for checking out the video. If you did like this review, please feel free to leave feedback, like, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section. And if you do want to check out more figure reviews, check out the Rave Corner. It is myfavorave.blogspot.com. And I'll be sure to do a little bit more Funko Mystery Mini reviews on this channel. Until then, this is Aaron of the Rave Corner. Thank you for viewing this review. I'll see you next time.